Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share the short message from Moses P. This message was posted on Facebook yesterday morning. Here is the translation of the message in English. The title of the message is The Robe of Glory and the Crown of Glory. Here is the message. Shalom. I was at the altar of prayer. I was singing a hymn called O Jerusalem. Suddenly I saw stairs and gates. Many people went through it. Before they climbed the stairs, below they gathered waiting for their turn to enter. One by one they entered, immediately put on the robe and crown. Then God says, these people are the people who have completed their task on earth, living in holiness and people who have passed through the difficult times in their life, keeping their faith until the finish line of their life, and they receive a crown and a robe of glory. Scripture given is from Revelation 3, verse 11 to 12. Let us read. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. The one who is victorious, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will they leave it. I will write on them the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem which is coming down out of heaven from my God, and I will also write on them my new name. That's all the message, brothers and sisters. Please take it to the Lord in prayers. Brothers and sisters in Christ, based on the message or vision above, I feel the people that receive a crown and a robe of glory refer to the bride of Christ. The brides of Christ are the true believers of Jesus Christ that follow Jesus with all their heart. They keep the commandments of God. They live in holiness and righteousness. Maybe they are going through a lot of trials and tribulations during their lifetime, but they keep their faith to Jesus until the end, they endure until the end or until Jesus comes. In the book of Revelation, the characteristics of the Bride of Christ are described in the Church of Philadelphia, written in Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 to 13. Brothers and sisters, we are so close to the coming of Jesus or rapture. All signs are here. Let us be serious to prepare ourselves to be the Bride of Christ. Let us read from Revelation chapter 19, verse 7 to 9. Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous acts of God's holy people. Then the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. And he added, these are the true words of God. Brothers and sisters, Apostle Peter described the day of the Lord in 2 Peter 3, verse 1 to 17. He gave us the instruction to make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with God. Making every effort means we do something and not just be passive and do nothing. Let us read from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. Warning and encouragement. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. We must also remember what Jesus said, that unless we are born again, we cannot see the kingdom of God. Let us read from John chapter 3, verse 3. Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Brothers and sisters, being born again Christians is not just saying the salvation prayers, go to the church on Sunday, but we live like whatever we want from Monday to Saturday. Being born again means there is a transformation of life by the Holy Spirit. The old has passed away, the new has come. When we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are called to come out of the darkness into the light, which means we are called to live in holiness because our God or Jesus is the Holy God. It is our new identity in Christ that we no longer live in the darkness or sinful or worldly lifestyle, but we now must walk in the light of Christ. There should be a transformation or change of life and behavior by the Holy Spirit. 
To be able to do that, we must have a relationship with Jesus in prayers, in the word, in praise and worship, fasting, and so on. Anything that can make us closer to God. We must seek God diligently and stay connected with Jesus. In our journey to holiness, we are not perfect. We can fall short sometimes. That's why we must come to Jesus daily for the reconciliation to our sins. Because only the blood of Jesus can wash away our sins, no other names or no other ways. And only the blood of Jesus can make our robe clean and white. Brothers and sisters, we must make an effort to live in holiness. But when we fall, there is Jesus. He is always there waiting for us with His love, compassion, and mercy. We come to Him to confess our sins and ask the Holy Spirit to lead us so that we don't fall again. By doing this, we have peace and comfort because we know our sins have been forgiven by Jesus our God and the devil cannot accuse us anymore. Let us read from 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. That's all I like to share, brothers and sisters. Hope this could encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.